Shan Highlands. We're about to embark on an exciting journey through this enchanting destination. So put on your adventure hats and let's go. Our first stop is the National Kandagi Gardens, fondly known as the Botanical Gardens. Established in 1915, these gardens were initially designed to be a recreation spot for British officials during the colonial era. Stroll through the lush greenery, marvel at the vibrant flowers, and take in the captivating landscapes. Oh, and don't forget to snap a few pictures to make your Instagram followers green with envy. Next up, we'll visit the Pukok Falls, also called the Anisakan Falls. Be prepared for a refreshing mist as these cascading waters gracefully tumble down the rocky steps. Legend has it that the local spirits guard this waterfall, so be on your best behavior, or they might give your hair a free makeover with their mischievous hands. Now, let's head to the grandest attraction in Payanu Luin, the National Landmarks Garden. Built in 1919, this garden is home to miniature replicas of Myanmar's most iconic landmarks, from the Shwedigan Pagoda to the Mandalay Palace. It's like traveling the whole country in just a few steps. Look closely, and you might even spot a tiny Aung San Suu Kyi giving a speech at the Baguio Aung San Market. Our stomachs are rumbling now so it's time for a quick snack break at one of the local street food stalls. Try the famous Madlonye Pa, a delicious traditional pancake stuffed with jaggery and grated coconut. Trust me, one bite, and you'll be craving more like a python eater craves sunshine. After replenishing our energy, let's continue to the Kanda Craig Hotel, a colonial era gem that once hosted British royalty and famous writers like George Orwell. Its old-world charm and beautiful gardens make it the perfect spot for a cup of tea and a slice of history. Just remember, no stealing the teapots as souvenirs. The ghosts of British officers might come back to haunt you. Now brace yourselves for a bumpy yet exhilarating experience on the famous Pian Luen horse-drawn carriage ride. Clip-clop, clip-clop, we go through the town's quaint streets, passing by colorful houses and friendly locals. And here comes the fun part. We'll have a pun competition. Whoever comes up with the best horse-related joke wins a prize. Here's mine. Why did the horse become an astronomer? Because it had its eyes on the stars. Feeling adventurous? Let's venture up to the Dat Ta giant waterfall. It's a bit off the beaten path, but trust me, the scenic views and the sound of rushing water make the journey worth it. Just be sure to watch your step or you might take an unintentional dip in the cool waters. Consider it a refreshing surprise. As the sun begins to set, we'll conclude our day at the iconic Payan Uluin Central Market. This bustling market is a treasure trove of local handicrafts, fresh produce, and colorful textiles. Practice your bargaining skills, but be warned, the vendors here can outweed a fox and outtalk a parrot. I hope you've enjoyed our adventure through Payan Uluin today. Remember, this town is not just about its picturesque beauty. It's about the warm and welcoming people who call it home. So take back some cherished memories, a handful of laughter, and a heart filled with the magic of Myanmar. Safe travels, my friends. May your future journeys be as unforgettable as the ones we've shared together.